This okay. morning in our School Matters series, some education experts say summer learning is more essential now than ever, and I believe it. A study published in the American Educational Research Journal looked at students in grades 1 through 6 and found more than half lost an average of 39% of their school year gains during the summer. A recent study found the most effective form of summer education incorporates fun into the curriculum. That's good news. Joining us now is Saul Khan, the founder and CEO of the Khan Academy. Uh, Saul, good morning to you. Always uh, love having you on. The complication for this summer is, of course, the pandemic. So you've got the loss of the pandemic plus what we anticipate being a loss this summer. Can we begin to talk at this point? Do we know what the learning loss has been overall for this 12 months of, of pandemic time we've put in? Some of the assessment partners that we had talked to last fall had already seen a 10% larger drop than you normally see. So you normally see about a quarter of, of the previous year as being summer learning loss. That was last summer. Then you had 10% on top of that. We all know we've had a strange year this past year, and then you're going to have a learning loss on top of that. Uh, so by any measure, this is going to be a pretty tough year for a lot of a lot of families. So you also say that summer school is out, or at least the term is, and you favor summer learning instead. What's the difference? Well, summer school has the stigma that we all remember that if you didn't do so well in that school year, you had to stay over the summer and maybe repeat a year. It was almost like summer detention. So it has all sorts of negative associations with it. And the whole point is to just keep on learning. And summer school sometimes makes you just repeat a lot of things that you might already know. And so summer learning is for everyone. And now we have more tools than ever. Obviously, uh, my, my, my day job, uh, the not-for-profit Khan Academy, people can get free resources. They can get free tutoring of another not-for-profit schoolhouse.world. There's tons of resources out there. If people put in even 20, 30 minutes a day, there's no reason why they can't fill in any unfinished learning that they have from the previous few years mm -hmm. and even catch up or move ahead of where their class is going the to Khan be. The Khan Academy is incredible. It's good for adults as well. If you want to tutor your children, you take a look at it, then you yeah. can be more helpful. I, I, full, I totally recommend it. But Sal, I, Sal a, a lot of teachers, and I know because I'm married to one, are feeling pretty burned out, and a lot of kids are feeling burned out after Zoom learning over the last year. How do you get people in a mood? Uh, so many people just want to break from all of this. How do you get people in the mood to do that? Yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend going all in and doing eight hours of academic stuff all summer. People need to have a healthy summer. They've been socially isolated for a year, year and a half. They need to go out there, need to play. They have to rebuild their social friendships. And also, even when we go back to school, I know a lot of teachers I talk to, they're talking about those next, those first few months have to be about rebuilding that social connections, rebuilding those patterns of school, making sure people are re-ready for school again. But as a parent, if your child can go in with a strong academic foundation, once again, the resources are out there. We have get ready for grade level courses on Khan Academy to fill in any gaps students might have. They're going to be that much better prepared uh, come, come the new school year. I want to follow up on Anthony's thing about, listen, how do you bring the joy? Make sure that you say parents need to bring the joy back of summer for their children. What's the best way to do that? Well, it's all about play. And there's not a young person I know at ages four or five who's not incredibly curious about the yeah. world. And there's no reason why play and learning can't happen at the same time. Think about how far the sun is that you could fit a million Earths inside of the sun. Just that, that, that sparks wonder, that sparks curiosity. If every time your child asks a question, say, let's look that up. <laughs> let's, see, let's see what the truth is there. And start going on a learning journey with them. And that provides really powerful signaling for your children. All right, Sal Khan, always good to see you. Thank you so much.